Hello, we are happy to present our paper entitled AMVNet, Assertion-Based Multi-View Fusion Network for LiDAR Semantic Segmentation. This is a joint work by Venice Leon, Do Nguyen, myself, Sergei Wijaya, Dananjay Sharma, and Zhuang Jie Chong. We are from Motional and Nanyang Technological University. The motivation of this work is that there is no single few network that rules them all. For example, here, the first point cloud is predicted well by a range view network, while a bird's eye view network encountered errors on the sidewall. On the other hand, for the second point cloud, the bird's eye view network is better, while the range view network had obvious errors. It is clear that one network has some advantages over the other and vice versa. More particularly, a bird's eye view network would not be as good in deciphering vertically oriented objects, whereas for occlusions, it would be very robust. On the other hand, range view networks have troubles on um, cases where objects are occluded with each other, or probably, whereas it will probably be good in deciphering vertically oriented objects. Hence, how to leverage the strengths of both networks is an interesting problem that is worth exploring. While there are already several LiDAR works on multi-view fusion, most approaches focus on either early fusion or sequential fusion. To the best of our knowledge, there is no work on late fusion. In real-world applications, it is favorable to perform late fusion to make the system modular and flexible to varying computational constraints. In addition, each component in the network can be improved independently to boost the overall performance. Our late fusion method is unique as it only processes uncertain points. Uncertain points are points where initial predictions has a lower probability to be correct. This is a similar concept as point rend, which is a state-of-the-art image segmentation network, where they select uncertain regions and refine their pixels by passing it to another point hit. To the best of our knowledge, this has not been done for LiDAR semantic segmentation, let alone in a multi-view fashion. This makes it favorable since it is able to combine the benefits of the range view and bird's eye view networks without significantly slowing down either training or inference. Hence, we propose a MVNet. AMVNet is a multi-view fusion network that first performs point cloud semantic segmentation using the single view networks individually. It is then passed to an assertion guided sampling block to determine certain and uncertain points. For the certain points, we assume that the predictions are correct, while the uncertain points are passed to a lightweight point head architecture to refine their predictions. Our assertion guided sam uncertainty sampling module samples uncertain points for refinement. Here, we classify uncertain points when the individual networks disagree with each other on their class predictions. We measure the disagreement using cosine similarity with a thresholding parameter tau. In practice, the disagreement metric can be flexible, such as variation ratio, entropy, etc. Given an uncertain point, we pass its point features and neighborhood set features to a point head to obtain the final predictions. The point features include the individual network's class predictions and the raw point information, i.e. its positional information, x, y, z, and arbitrary features such as intensity, colors, and normal. Similarly, the neighborhood set features are the class predictions and the raw point information relative to the uncertain point. The point head is designed to be lightweight. It comprises of an MLP and a max pooling layer. Having just 
18.5 thousand parameters. It adds negligible load to the whole pipeline. For the implementation of the individual networks, the RangeView method is an encoder-decoder fully convolutional network with a ResNet-like backbone. We used a cylindrical projection as input where we maximize the RangeView input size according to the sensor specifications. It also includes RNN layers to learn better spatial relationships. We used a combination of cross entropy and dice loss loss function. For the bird's eye view network, we follow the design and implementation of PolarNet. For the results, we demonstrate the effectiveness of our proposed method by running our experiments on semantic KD benchmark and comparing it with other literature. We ranked among the top five at the time of our submission. We show in the results in this table, which is divided into range view networks, bird's eye view networks, voxel-based networks, and fusion-based networks. We achieve strong class-wise predictions, such as in building and person, and are competitive with state-of-the-art networks. While voxel-based methods provided state-of-the-art results, our scope is to present a late fusion strategy for leveraging the strengths of different multi-view networks with minimal overhead. Similarly, we also ran experiments on the new scenes benchmark dataset. We ranked among the top five in the new scenes leaderboard as well at the time of our submission. There is also no clear winner as shown in the class-wise performances of all methods. We achieved best performance for certain classes, such as motorcycle and man-made. We also achieved the best frequency weighted IOU with a reasonable runtime of 11.8 frames per second. We also showed the efficacy of our leak fusion approach by comparing it to a baseline ensemble method that only performs geometric mean. As shown in this table, AMVNet outperforms the individual network as well as the baseline ensemble by at least one and 2.5 MIOU points on new scenes and semantic kitty respectively. We also show that our approach can be generalized by using different lighter segmentation networks. In particular, we replaced the range view or bird's eye view networks by voxel-based state-of-the-art methods, SPV-NAS and SPV-CNN, and ran our experiments again. Our fusion strategy is superior to the baseline ensemble method across all combinations, which suggests that the assertion step and the point head help in refining the class predictions. It is expected that any LiDAR segmentation network combination can leverage this late fusion strategy to achieve strong segmentation predictions. This allows the capability to instead of using a single heavy model, such as SPV-NAS and SPV-CNN, we could use multi-view lightweight models, which when combined in a late fusion fashion, could outperform the individual heavy model. At the same time, the computational load could be less. Our work can be easily extended by exploring other assertions for our assertion guided sampler, utilizing more point features, improving the individual network components, inducing more global context in the point head, such as using transformers, etc. We hope that you enjoy our presentation. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you're enjoying the rest of the workshop. Thank you.